What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In this video I will be showing you how to get two Daedric followers. That looked like this. Now the best thing about these two guys is they don't take up any of your follower slots. So you can actually have two Daedric followers at once plus another follower like Lydia or Serana and also a pet of your choice too. Yes, that's right, you can have up to four followers at once, which is pretty awesome. You've literally got your own squad to go and take on anyone you like. And you can also pick what weapons to give these Daedric followers as well, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But if you didn't know guys, this video is actually an extension to the Daedric build guide I posted a few days ago. So if you missed that, make sure you go and check it out in the description below. So the first thing we need to do is to come over here on the map in the far north of Skyrim where you'll find the College of Winterhold. It's just here. You know, they say knowledge is its own. Once inside the college courtyard, you're just going to want to come over here to the back on the left of the main entrance. There's actually a trap door in the corner here. This is going to take us to a hidden cave that exists underneath the college called the Midden. Once inside, you're just going to go straight on down the icy corridor and then go right at the bottom. Drop down below and then turn left and head through the door. Literally just go onwards through these dungeon-like caves and soon you will come out in a secret Atronach Forge. We basically now need to use this Atronach Forge to summon forth a Daedra from Oblivion. And then I'm going to show you how to make it your follower and it's going to be a permanent follower as well guys. So to do this, we need to do a few things first. Firstly, we need to get a Sigil Stone and level 100 Conjuration. And I know that sounds scary, but it actually only takes about half an hour to level it up to level 100. I've already made a guide on how to level it really, really fast in the description below. And that same guide will also show you how to get full Daedric Armor and the Sigil Stone that we need for this next part. After you finish that video guide, you'll then be able to buy the Dead Thrall spell from Phineas Gester. He can also be found here in the College of Winterhold, in the Hall of Countenance, which is just over here. Once you find him, you'll be able to buy the Dead Thrall spell from him. There are few places that incident in... So you wish to master the arcane arts? Once you're done, come back to the Atronach Forge and place the Sigil Stone inside this plinth here, right in front of the forge. This will basically empower the forge so you can summon forth things from oblivion. Just below this, you'll see an offering box. We now need to get three ingredients to put inside this in order to summon ourselves a Daedra. And don't worry, these ingredients are really easy to find. The first thing you need is a human skull. And you can get this in Whiterun, which is of course just here on the map. Once you do arrive in Whiterun, just go straight on through the town. And then through the marketplace and to the left. We're going to the Hall of the Dead, which is just here on the map. Let me show you again, just in case you don't know. So once inside the Hall of the Dead, on the left here, just on the shelf, you will find like three skulls just sitting here. You will have to steal them, so make sure you're not caught by the priest that you'll sometimes see inside the room. Just across the hallway though, there is another few skulls on this shelf here. We only actually need two skulls, but the more the merrier. You will also need two hawker meat. You can find this really easily. 
Basically anywhere on the north shore of Skyrim will probably have a hawker just roaming around on the beach minding its own business. So just walk along the shore until you find one. They will all have one piece of hawker meat on their corpse once you've killed them. So it's pretty easy to do. Make sure you get at least two. Lastly though, we will need a Daedric Heart. And this is a very rare alchemy ingredient that you can either buy here at the College of Winterhold or you can check out a few more locations I've left down below in the description where you'll find them 100% of the time. But right now I'm just going to the Hall of Attainment and inside this area you'll find somebody called Enthir. Enthir is basically a merchant that sells very rare alchemy ingredients. He has a very high chance of having a Daedric Heart on his person. If he doesn't have a Daedric Heart, you can always just save the game, hit him once, and then reload that previous save. And basically that resets his shop's inventory. And just keep doing that until he has a Daedric Heart. You will only need one of these guys. But obviously they are quite expensive depending on your speech skill. Make sure you check out my notes in the description All if right. you do want one for free. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the Atronach Forge and we're going to put all of these ingredients inside the offering box. Make sure you save your game before going any further. Now we're going to pull the handle just below and when you do, this will spawn a Daedra. Now depending on your character's level, a more powerful version may spawn. For example, at level 36 plus, you will get a Dramora Marknas. That's probably not how you pronounce it, but the Dramora Marknas will be at level 46. So you'll have a level 46 Dramora follower, even though your character's only level 36. So very powerful. But later in the game, as you level up, the max level possible Dramora follower you can obtain is called the Dramora Valknaz, which is a level 70 Dramora, and it's just stupidly strong. It's basically the strongest follower in the game, apart from a few exceptions. So go ahead and pull the handle to activate the forge. You'll have to kill the Dramora that comes out. So if you do have any trouble, just turn down your difficulty or bring a follower along to help you kill it. Once it is dead though, make sure you pick up the Daedric Heart once it's dead. And we actually have enough ingredients to do this twice. Just put the Daedric Heart you picked up back inside the offering box and go ahead and pull the lever again. That's why I told you to get two of each ingredient. make sure you pick up its sword. The sword will always be enchanted and its quality depends on your character's level. So for example, mine's a glass sword because my character is level 40. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to choose which weapon your Daedric follower will use. So for example, I'm going to put this enchanted sword back into the dead Daedra's inventory. He will now use it as a weapon but I could also give him an enchanted Daedric shield and a one-handed sword or even a bow. Just make sure you don't forget to give him arrows as well. And you can change his weapon loadout at any time, it really doesn't matter. I suggest making them close combat though. Just whatever you do, make sure you give him a weapon, otherwise he'll just run around punching things like an idiot. So now we're going to use the Dead Throw spell, which we brought already in this guide. So learn that spell and then use the spell on the corpse of the Daedra. And now you have a new Daedra follower. But go ahead and pull the lever again and do the exact same thing so you have two Daedric followers. These are probably the coolest sounding followers too because they don't actually sound like zombies, they keep their Daedric dialogue. So they're just shouting these demonic sounding things at people in combat. It's so cool. I've just given both of my followers the two-handed weapons enchanted with the standard fire effect. But you can craft the more powerful weapons if you wish. It's completely up to you. Also guys, please note that you will need the Twin Souls perk so you can have two reanimated followers at the same time. It's just here at the very top of the Conjuration skill tree. I just want to mention a couple of bugs that may happen, but they're very easy to fix. 
Firstly, sometimes the Daedric Summon will actually appear with a low level weapon, like this guy has spawned with a steel axe. So in this situation, just reload the save that you made before pulling the lever to conjure him, then you can literally just pick and choose what weapon they're holding. Secondly, sometimes when you resurrect them, they will actually get stuck in one position and they won't be able to move. If this happens, it's really easy to fix. Just exit the midden and then the follower will teleport to you and it will just fix itself. It's very rare that these things will happen though, but if they do, you know how to fix it now. If your Daedric companion ever dies, they will never turn into a pile of ash. So you can simply recast the dead frow spell on their corpse and they'll come back from the dead. The same goes if you want to swap their weapons. Just put whatever weapon you want them to use in their inventory and then reanimate them. So guys, let's say you do this at level 20 and then your character levels up to level 36 plus or something like that. I suggest actually coming back to the forge and redoing the ritual to get a more powerful version of the Daedric follower as you level up. You can just go ahead and favorite this video so you can easily just come back and refind it when you level up later on in the game. Also guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon next to it. This will ensure that you always get notified whenever I release a new Skyrim video here on the channel. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I ESO will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Skyrim video guide. So have a fantastic day and goodbye.